Every day, millions of people all over the world fly. In our weekly sound portrait of a worker, producer Michael Monteleone spoke with one of the people who helps the passengers on and off, calms the crying children, and serves lunch. My name is Donna Martin, and I work as a flight attendant. My first flight was a training flight. There had been a, a bombing at a military base, and so the very first thing that ever happened on a flight was we had a military escort with a military um, casket below the plane. And He was a very young guy. He was only about 18, and he had to escort his buddy home. And so the very first day, you know, we already, I experienced a family standing there being upset and, and a young guy going through a traumatic experience taking his, escorting his friend home and of being in the position of the one who was calm and kind of in charge and helped these people out. It's not all sad though, sometimes it's all it's happy things. I got to be a part of this woman, she gave her uh, daughter up for adoption 23 years before and she was going to meet her for the first time. We landed in Memphis and this woman wouldn't get off the plane. She went in the bathroom and, and then she came out, she fiddled around her seat and I finally went up to her and said, do you need some help? And then she just poured, she spent 15 minutes telling me the whole story of the adoption. And I said, well, I'll go with you. And so then we were like buddies and we went in there together and she met her daughter who dressed exactly like she did. And they knew who each other were right when they met each other. And the second they met, the woman never turned and looked at me again. I just got to, I got to be able to see it, but I had to step back. I was not a part of it, so I really loved that. That was a wonderful experience for me. You learn so much about different things. I remember a dog, uh, a man had a seeing eye dog, and usually those dogs are very, very well behaved, and this man just happened to have a lot of personality, and, and his dog did too. But they were sitting in row three, which was right behind the bulkhead, so they were in, they were in coach. And the dog's body was in coach, but the guy in first class sitting in front of him was handing him food under the curtain. So the dog's head was in, in first class, and the CNI dog's body was in coach. So he was really enjoying his flight, which is not the normal way for a working dog to behave. <laughs> Maybe he had frequent flight. He, he upgraded. There's no privacy on an airplane. None at all. There's this thing that people like to do sometimes, it's called um, the Mile High Club. They like to have sex in the bathroom on the plane. And they think nobody on the plane knows but them. And the, all the crew always knows. And we, we stand outside the bathroom and we go, and we tell each other, you would not believe these people in there. Because to us, as we work there, we think the bathroom gets so dirty. Like, we would never dream of, of doing something like that in the bathroom. And uh, so we'll kind of stand around the edge of the bathroom so when they come out, <laughs> They come out one at a time, and then they, they know we know. We're just playing, but... And you have to remember to lock that bathroom door, because uh, no one remembers to lock the bathroom door, and everybody's always getting walked in on. So <laughs> that's the first rule of flying. Lock that bathroom door if you don't want to be uh, surprised. I always love flying in and out of JFK, because you never know who's going to be on the plane. Um, one of my favorite things that ever happened was we had a whole plane load of uh, immigrants from Russia a few years back and they were so excited, just so excited to be going to their new home and in fact one woman she was so excited that she started taking her clothes off she was taking her shirt and her skirt off and I kept trying to button them back up because it was an older woman I, I didn't I was like I didn't know what she was doing I thought she was like losing it or something but what she was doing was she was so proud of the new underwear she had been given at the stopover point um, that she wanted to show me <laughs> her slip and underwear <laughs> and so, <laughs> you just never know what's gonna happen Donna Martin has been a flight attendant for 11 years. Up ahead, solar-powered cars.